All right, I don't want to understate just how important this show is, but All In has been billed as the biggest wrestling show ever at Wembley Stadium with an attendance of 81,035 people. Let's get into the show because you know you're here and you're wondering, well, what just happened? So let's find out. So we had a pre-show. We had a couple things happen on the pre-show, actually. Um... Solid show on the pre-show. We had the Miro Powerhouse Hobbs contract signing with an appearance from Paul White, Anthony Gogo, Grado, and Team Jared. That all happened in different areas. But we also had Simon Miller. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> our first match in the pre-show was the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships with Adam Cole and MJF taking on Aussie Open, the champions. Um, this was a really shocking result to the start of the show because I really thought that Aussie Open were going to retain. But no, Adam Cole and MGF won with the double clothesline, and it was a good way to get the crowd started, heated up. I really thought uh, this was going to start playing it to Adam Cole's heel turn, but I was wrong. Uh, Mercedes Monet was in the crowd. Mercedes Monet was in the crowd. That might be the biggest news of the entire night that Mercedes Monet was in the crowd. What? Uh, Jack Perry defended the FTW Championship against Hook, and this was a solid, brutal match. But ultimately, Hook won uh, with the Red Rum to regain the championship. This was this was fun. On to the main card. The first match was CM Punk defending the Real World Championship against Samoa Joe. Uh, you kind of knew how this was going to play. This was a very good match. These two really, really uh, know each other well. See, <laughs> Punk hit Cena's five moves of doom, which were hilarious. And he hit the Hulk Hogan leg drop. Very, very fun. Very, very uh, solid match with Punk hitting the Pepsi plunge on Samoa. Joe, I expect him to fight at All Out for the TV Championship in Chicago and Joe to get his win back then we had hangman page kenny omega koto bushi the golden elite taking on the team of jay wright juice robinson and kenose to and this was another uh shocking result because to won with a roll-up stealing the win this was really really fun this was a really really solid match from bell to bell with history thrown in through all of these guys um Coda still has some ring rust to get out because his moves lacked a little bit of bite, lacked a little bit of a, of a hit, just like in the Blood and Guts match. But Coda and JY have some really good history, have some really good interactions in this match. Um, so I definitely want more. I'm maybe hoping for a Nabushi Jay White match at all out. Uh, but this, this was this was really, really solid. Next up, we had the AEW World Tag Team Championship match. I thought this match was going later in the evening, but FTR defending against the Young Bucks, and this is the third match in the trilogy with their first two matches hitting at least four stars. And guess what? This one hit four stars too. This was this wasn't the greatest tag team match of all time, and it's right behind their other two matches. But this was still a very, 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 very good match. Um. You know how these matches go. Starts out slow, builds up, building off of all their past history with sharpshooters and back injuries and just kickouts of finishers. And you want to see tag team wrestling? You watch this match. You that's that that's what that's what you do. Um, but in the end, the champions themselves, FTR, hit a big rig out of really nowhere to retain the championships and then the young books uh uh didn't go for the post they declined the post match handshake next up we have stadium stampede with the best friends eddie kicks orange cast to get pentel zero miedo taking on the blackpool combat club santana and ortiz and i don't i don't know how i don't know how to put this word i don't i don't know how to describe this match at one point penta disappeared and returned as Penta Oscuro. <laughs> what? He did a whole costume change. This match was wild. This match was unbelievable. Tables 
and just fighting everywhere. Orange Cassidy with the orange punch with his fist covered in glass. This joint was just absurd. Crazy. Go and watch this. If there's any match you can watch, watch this joint. Next up, we had the AEW Women's World Championship with a Carl Sheeter defeating against Britt Baker, Saray, and Tony Storm. Um... Yeah, it was the only women's match on the car, which really, really upset me. It was also one of the shorter matches on the car, which really, really upset me. Soraya got to come out with her family. She won. Soraya left with the championship. It was a really good, on-the-nose, feel-good moment. But I think she did deserve a really, really legitimate reign um, in front of a live crowd. She only held the championship, not even for 30 days. So now I wonder what they're going to do with this. The, uh, the outcast broke down. Uh, Tony Storm was losing her damn mind. She was actually going to uh, hurt Soraya because she accidentally punched Soraya's mom, um, who was holding Britain. If Soraya got mad, like you saw, you just saw what happened. Like, why would you be upset? But you saw Brit move, and you know, it's like I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Ruby tries to calm things down, but Tony stopped it. Uh, I, whatever, whatever. I, I, we're moving on. Uh, we had the coffin match with Christian Cage and Swerve Strickland taking on Darby Allen and Sting. And what do you expect? This is a Darby Allen Sting match. You knew it was going to be wild. You knew it was going to be crazy. Darby Allen and Sting uh, won. I could watch Sting do this for days, forever and ever and ever. He has probably had the best post career legends run out of any wrestler in a long, long, a long time. Um, Chris Jericho and Will Ospreay had themselves a really, really solid match. Not great, not otherworldly, but it did more than enough to to show that Will Ospreay is a star. That's what you got from this match. It was good. It was it was solid. Next up, we had the AEW Trios Championship with the House of Black defending against the Acclaimed. And you knew how this was going to go. The Acclaimed are super over. And we have new champions. Um, I love the fact that one with the House of Black's entrance. They were wearing white. Which signifies that they were in mourning. And they came out with the land in tribute to Bray. Um, this was just good. This was this was, this was was fun. Um, Julia Hart actually took a Scissor Me Timbers as well. That's pretty pretty funny um mgf and adam cole main event for the aew world championship um this this was this was everything i'm really really ready for a mjf um base one this match was everything these two work well I just, they work well together um, I don't know what to say like this was solid they said they were going to cheat there's a really really fun moment where they were cheating and they went for the Eddie spot and they kept passing the, the chair back and forth, but the ref was knocked out. So yeah, this was this was such a fun match. They were always going back and forth with um cheating. But everything everything in this match worked. Everything in this match clicked. Callbacks to story time aspects. They both tried to hit the kangaroo, kangaroo kick. Um Cole was willing to do anything to win this match, whereas MJF wasn't and um, they actually hit the double clothesline and we we teased the draw but adrico was like five more minutes um man g said we'll keep it winning we'll keep it going till we get a winner just layers upon layers remember mjf uh won the last time because you know they went to a draw and cole couldn't finish the job so there is there is that Roderick Strong played a part in the match. He showed up to hit MJF with a low blow, and Cole was ready to capitalize, but MJF kicked out. Uh, MJF couldn't bring himself to use the diamond ring when Cole had a chance, but he also decided not uh, to cheat as well. 
Much to Roddy didn't like that. So Roddy left MJF pulled cold into inside cradle. And one, this was probably the match of the night next to the stadium stampede. This was so, so fun. They teased the breakup, um, including Roddy telling Cole to attack MGF. <laughs> and MGF did the same thing to Cole, turning his back that Cole, on him. That Cole, yo, crazy. Um, they hugged it out. And this was good. This was a really, really good show. Um, I just wish we got more from the women's match. And that's the one thing that really, really really upsets me but overall stadium uh, stadium stampede jericho osprey the tag titles all of it everything it was a success so that ladies and gentlemen is what just happened peace